Alice Car Doctor back with a sort of a Diag video. It's a Diag video. Today's patient is a 2011 Dodge Durango. Um, it has the 3.6 Dodge Chrysler Jeep Pentastar. Another Pentastar problem here. Um, I think I may name my channel 3.6 Pentastar. What do you guys think? Eh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, that nah, my words getting all tongue tied. This car came in with a very bad overheating issue. The customer, I think, drove it miles upon miles. So it came here, steam just going everywhere. I'm like, ugh, I was like cringing. Cause I always tell people, if your car is running hot, pull over. Don't chance it. Don't think you can make it because you could cause a simple problem to be a big problem. So I know the vehicle overheated. So the first thing I always suggest people do anytime a vehicle is overheated or the customer says the engine done got hot, always do a block test. It can save you a lot of time. So you can actually do a block test. I do know where the leak is coming from. Prior to the video, I put coolant in here with water because I knew it was gonna leak out and down in the engine valley, you have the oil cooler or oil filter housing. This is the oil filter housing, but it's part of the oil cooler. It's tucked under all this um, intake stuff. So you have to remove the upper and lower intake to get to the oil cooler. And that's just completely ruptured. So it has a big hole in it. Once, yeah, it has a big hole in it. So enough talk, let's do a block test. My nurse Nando is gonna start the vehicle. Can you fit? <laughs> Can't fit in there, Nando? No. Nope. Oh, man. I'm a little too chunky. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> All right. Let me know you're ready. I'm ready. As you see, the engine runs great. Um, I, already, I put an oil dipstick out so you guys can see. No milkiness on the oil. Looks wonderful. The engine sounds good. So let's see what the block test says. Rev it up. Hopefully you can see this on camera. It's starting to turn yellow. Light green? Yeah. Turn it off. Move your flashlight. It's kind of bright. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Hopefully you can see it. Take go. take your light away. That's better. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A little bit. Maybe. It's so bright. I can't see. Yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not blue anymore. It's yellow. That means combustion gas when the hair gasket blow combustion gas will seep into the cooling system and it's this stuff job to detect combustion gas combustion gas is supposed to be exiting the tailpipe instead is going inside the cooling system and if I would have fixed this problem without doing this test first she would have been continued that ah, she would have been the vehicle would have been con <laughs> Come on, get my words right. Can't get them right today. Mm -hmm. Something always going on with me. The vehicle would continue to overheat. It would just be overheating out of nowhere. And a lot of mechanics will go ahead and fix the problem 
and the vehicle continue to overheat. They'll be throwing water pumps at it and just throwing a whole bunch of money at it and finally decide, hey, you need a motor. <laughs> so two things this customer is gonna need, either the head gaskets replaced, which I don't have time to do head gaskets at my shop, or either an engine replacement. That'll be a lot quicker and easy. Dealing with head gaskets, you have to take the heads to the machine shop. It's too many hands involved. That's why I don't do head gaskets anymore. I'm actually pretty good at it. Uh, I do them a lot, especially on my for sale cars. So I do do head gaskets, but for my for sale cars. Well, my wife for sale cars, not my for sale cars. Um, but if you want to see uh, the process of a head gasket, job being done, you know, shoot a comment down below and I see what I can pull out for you guys. Back on the subject though, the reason the hair gaskets blue, so what do an oil cooler have to do with the hair gaskets or cooling? Well, the name is in the description, oil cooler. So you have a, a small radiator type setup and coolant goes through the radiator type setup and oil surrounds that, um, the radiator type setup so it's cooling down the oil and what happens the oil cooler blow or this plastic stuff it'll rupture and coolant goes everywhere and she's supposed to pull over keep driving you can blow your head gaskets anytime and that's dealing with anything radiator um, the list goes on and on I already got with the customer on this we actually have the engine here she chose to go the engine route mm -hmm. I'll show you that over here Hey, look, something else besides a Dodge Jeep Chrysler Pentastar, a Porsche. <laughs> so I do actually work on other things. This is the engine. Um, this is the second one. The first one, you can check out my um, breakdown video. I put in a link in the description, or put it up on the screen somewhere of how to inspect a junkyard engine. I'll be doing the same on this one. Um, I'm gonna get Fernando to actually put in this one because I have another one over here that I have to put in. This is actually an a M35 Infinity. So, got a lot going on. Speaking of a lot going on, Alice the Car Doctor out. If you actually want to see me putting in the engine, put it in the comment below. I see can I work something up and walk you through this process of installing the engine. But other than that, Alice the Car Doctor out. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I love you guys. See you on the next video.